Good morning. This is Educational Resources for Scientific Parapsychology. Episode 13, The Works of Dr. Ian Stevenson, compiled by Dr. Emily Williams Kelly. Let's go take a look at this extraordinary book. This is Dr. Ian Stevenson, a long time ago, at the University of Virginia, on the grounds. He was a very deep thinker, and he did a lot of research on a lot of things. There's a new book out now, which is really really wonderful. Those of you who are students of the field know that in real life when we're relaxing we tend to binge watch YouTube or binge watch Netflix or do some other kind of immersive thing. Well when you're interested in science you do the same kind of thing. You find an individual who's extraordinary whose work has changed the way we look at things and you try to find everything that person has ever written. Now you don't have to look too far for everything Dr. Stevenson has written. Dr. Stevenson died in 2007 after a very long and very illustrious career. Almost immediately after his death, his close colleague and friend, Dr. Emily Williams Kelly, who is a faculty member at the Division of Perceptual Studies at the University of Virginia, began to pull together his writings. And the result of is Science, the Self, and Survival After Death, Selected Writings of Ian Stevenson. This is an incredible volume. A good way to get a handle on the content of this book is to go to Carlos Alvarado's blog, Parapsychology. Dr. Alvarado has done a examination of this book and what's really wonderful about this is not only do you get more pictures and some information about the book, a click through to a biography of Dr. Stevenson, a click through to buy the book on Amazon, a click through to the Division of Perceptual Studies, but it has the table of contents. Now what Emily Kelly has done is to pull these together in specific areas of interest that Dr. Stevenson had during his life. He wrote constantly. He published widely. He was very serious about his research. So Emily has taken this, this wonderful collection of materials and put it together thematically, commenting on the importance of each of these areas to Dr. Stevenson and also to research into the question of survival. So for instance, the sections are New Ideas in Science. We have two articles by Stevenson, one very early on in his career, published in 1958, and another one in 1999, The Nature of Human Personality, very interesting set. You can see this list here and take a look at it. Psychical research principles and methods. He was an important methodologist. He was very critical of work that was not careful, that was not um, done in such a way that you really could confirm or disconfirm your hypothesis. And then work on the question of survival after death. And of course the most important in his work, the investigation of children who remember previous lives. He had a particular methodology, no, no regression therapy, no, no experiences of adults, just looking at small children between three to five, three to eight, talking about their previous lives and having behavioral attitudes towards their current life that maybe made it kind of difficult to live the current life. He was also interested very much in birthmarks and birth defects. He published books that were on the level of a medical treatise. He published books that were more for the general public. And then he published an enormous number of, of um, scholarly articles. Xenoglossy was something he was also interested in. And then there were a variety of of articles that he wrote that were basically theoretical. So I can't recommend this book highly enough. I think the blog is a great place way for you to get a lot of information about the book. You can also go to Amazon and take a look at the description of the book. This is a great place to start and this is a great place to do that wonderful thing binge <laughs> immersion, binge reading, immersion into a particular individual and his work introduced and interpreted and discussed in a very intelligent and cogent way by Dr. Kelly. So please go out and Take a look at this book and I hope you enjoy.